fine night to take in the old waxing gibbous as we enjoy a clear sky. Let's look ahead to the morning though and find out if tomorrow is going to be as cold as today's morning was. Ray? Uh, not quite as cold, but it will be a chilly start. As you can see, we already have temperatures down into the 30s in Washington and Waynesburg, 39 in Greensburg. Indiana's at 37 degrees, but most of our temperatures are still in the 40s. But with the clear skies, the calm winds, the low humidity that we have in the air, that's going to lead to some cooler temperatures. And in a couple cases, we could see some areas of frost. It's just not looking to be the big widespread frosty setup that led to the frost advice and the freeze warnings that we had this morning. However, many locations are likely going to start off down into the 30s tomorrow morning, so there could be some patches of frost. Cover the plants if you care about them because the temperatures are going to be real borderline. After that, we're going to get to take a little break because our temperatures are going to soar. We're looking at the 70s in many cases for tomorrow, lower 70s for highs, and in the coming days, it's going to get even warmer. And you can already see that warmer air starting to push in uh, as you get into Iowa, uh, Missouri, even into Chicago and, and Indiana as, as these temperatures continue, the warmer temperatures continue to push in our direction. So we're going to climb up big time tomorrow. And so in spite of the chilly start, our temperatures will warm up quite nicely and quite quickly tomorrow. On top of that, we're going to see plenty of sunshine. I think tomorrow's going to come with abundant sunshine attached. You'll notice this little cloud deck getting picked up by Futurecast. That's actually associated with the disturbance that's passing on the other side of Lake Erie. That's not going to be an issue for us. And by the time we get to tomorrow morning, it's bright sunshine and pretty much the sunshine will take us through the day. Wednesday, clouds will increase, and I think we'll have more clouds and sun, so that'll be one of those days with clouds and occasional peaks of sunshine. But as you just saw there, there might be a very isolated shower up uh, north of around 422 uh, once we get into late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. Most of us are going to end up dry, and we're looking for most of us to stay dry up until the weekend. That is where we see our rain chances return again. So another weekend that does have some rain associated with it. Mostly clear skies though are on tap for tonight. Not as cold, but still a little chilly in many cases with the light winds. 40 degrees in Pittsburgh, some 30s outside the city, and tomorrow our temperatures make it back into the lower 70s. So this is going to be one of those days that warms up quite quickly. You're going to see sunshine early on, those temperatures by noon in the 60s, and we're going to do a good 10 degrees of warming throughout the afternoon. And we're expecting to top off in the lower 70s under bright sunny skies. Those clouds come back for Wednesday, but the temperatures keep building up, and we're going to see the mid 70s by Thursday and Friday. Very warm temperatures there. Even the lower 70s come Saturday again, but that's where we see some showers trying to start up. And then Sunday, we're going to look at some more widespread rain. 66 degrees there. From there, some showers try to carry over into Monday and next week. Temps back to average with highs near 60. And remember, with the temperatures being cool tomorrow morning, make sure you check in with Ron to see the latest on what you can expect as you step out the door. And John Shumway has your traffic on the KDK Morning News starting tomorrow at 430.